Most flaring tools require a third arm. Lucky for you, this one doesn't. You'll be executing picture-perfect flares in no time. First, prep the tube for flaring by cutting to length and deburring the inside and outside of the tube end. Place the flare nut in position on the tube. Using the spring-loaded block that works like a clothespin, insert the tube into the correctly sized hole and slide the tube against the height gauge to ensure the correct flare height. Next, close the block to secure the tubing. Good news, you don't need to tighten any wing nuts. If the block doesn't close, try squeezing it shut without pinching your hand. Sometimes, if the tube is out of round, the block may be difficult to close. If this happens, slide the yoke as far as you can on the block and tighten the sidebar to close the block. Once the block is closed, loosen the sidebar and continue sliding the yoke down the block until it aligns over the tube. The ball detents along the side help align the yoke to the correct position. The height gauge is moved out of the way by the yoke when it slides over the tube. Tighten the sidebar to lock the yoke into place. Turn the handle, making complete rotations until the flare is formed and the handle cannot be turned anymore. The clutch mechanism ensures that the cone stops once the flare is complete, so there's no way to overflare the tube. To release the tube once complete, turn the handle counterclockwise, unscrewing the handle all the way out, and remove or slide the yoke down and away from the tube to open the block. Get in, get out, and get on to the next job. It's time to retool and conquer with Hillmore's Orbital Flare. Contact Hillmore Technical Services for additional product information at 1-800-642-0010.